I've been waiting for you. Today is another wonderful day, which means another lesson to learn. Mm, now, before I introduce our next lesson, please take a look and compare these sentences. First, could you close the door? And the second, close the door. You probably think that the first sentence is more polite than the second. And you're right! The first sentence is stating a request. We are asking someone to do something. The second sentence is giving an order. We are telling someone what to do. The sentences uses an imperative to tell someone what to do. An imperative is a base verb. Imperatives are direct. Often, they are used when we are angry. Perhaps your old school teacher would tell you, sit down, be quiet, or stop talking. Imperatives are also used in a less scary way. They are used when giving instructions. When you buy, for example, a smartphone, it comes with an instruction book telling you how to use it. This instruction book is written using imperatives. They are simple to use and easy to explain. Mm, let's give it a try, shall we? Okay. Look at the words above. Choose the words that could be used as imperative verbs and make a sentence for each. We have here, fold, toys, put, night, open, and pillow. Okay, let's check your answers. Fold the paper. Aha, you're right there. Put the ingredients together. Amazing, that is also correct. Open the window. That is also right. Wow, you've done well! I think this would be the easiest way to explain imperatives. Do you have any questions? Homework? <laughs> I'll give you a homework. Now, for your homework, I would like you to give me the instruction on how to cook your favorite food. Remember, Imperatives are not only to give order, but also to give steps or instructions. Okay? I'll be waiting for you soon on our next class. See you!